Um, so I'm sorry to deprive you of your break. Um, but we, we will move on to the next session, which is the um, Drug Development um, Roundtable. And this is the session where we ask the drug developers, those who are bringing new chemical entities to market, um, to share um, where they are in the process and, um, and their vision for where they're, um, where, where they're going. Um, I think the, the, f format, um, the format will be that um, I'll call each of you up um, one at a time to give your presentation, those are, who are on the panel, um, let you go back to your seat so you can see the other presentations, um, and then we'll, um, at the end, um, have the panel come up here and we'll do a Q&A. Q um, we have, in the last couple of years, we've tried to um, reserve enough time for, for a rich, um, for a rich Q&A with the, with the drug developers and we'll try to do the same thing, um, the same thing this year. Um, I do have one plug, um, so um, I have one slide um, to show um, before we call the, the drug developers up. And that really is just to use my time on the podium to make sure everybody is fully aware of the progress we've made in the biorepository. So um, we have um, what we call the CTB2, um, and I don't know if Sue is here or any, I can't actually remember what that stands for anymore, but this is the um, biobank bio where um, um, TB Alliance, um, NIH, and TBTC have gotten together to make biologic samples from patients in clinical trials as they go through treatment available to those who are developing biomarkers um, to assess treatment response. And we've made a lot of progress. We have samples now from about 750 patients in the, in the trials contributed by TB Alliance, um, by um, TBTC, and now, and now um, ACTG is, is um, stepping up and contributing their s specimens. Um, we are um, opening the bank for applications. It's a peer review process, it's an independent peer review committee. So just wanting to make sure everyone is aware that this is out there and an available resource. Um, and if you or any, um, any of your colleagues are interested in gaining access to that resource to test potential new biomarkers, um, the information here is on the slide, and it is also on each of the websites of TB Alliance, ACTG, and um, um, TBTC. Um, so with that, I will um, 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 introduce the first speaker, but actually, before that, the first speaker was actually supposed to be David McNeely from Sequela, and I think many of you know David McNeely from, um, from the TB field. Um, he has joined Sequela recently, um, and he was scheduled to be the first, um, the first speaker to give an update on the Sequela programs. He developed a conflict. His daughter is a cellist and is being honored in that role, and he decided that he needed to be there. So I think we, we all understand that, um, and we, we look forward to welcoming him back here next year. So with that, um, the, our first speaker is Jeffrey Hafkin from Atsuka. Welcome, Jeffrey. 